Hey everybody, another day, off on to another task on the bus. So today uh, we're focusing on the bathroom area and I'm attaching the furring strips. So what does furring strip do? Uh, a, it'll, it's gonna allow a break between your structure and your wall uh, because what's gonna happen is, is uh, these are attached to the outside of the bus, right? With the, with the skin of the bus. And I can already feel right now in the sun, uh, these are hot. The foam, foam's not hot. So this allows the wall to be off of this structure and that way we don't transfer heat through the bus. It also gives us uh, a half inch more of insulation. So we'll put insulation in here as well. And it gives us a mounting point for our walls. We don't want to mount the walls directly to this. Uh, this is stainless steel frame. So these are actually not too bad. If I had to guess, it'd be like, in American terms, a 16th of an inch thick. Bottom rail down here though, this is probably something uh, frame related to the bottom of the bus. Uh, this is probably about 3 16 thick. So a lot of drilling of stainless, uh, a lot of drill bits. I have a drill bit sharpener, so I'm sharpening my bits as I go. Uh, you just drill really slowly and put put decent amount of pressure on it. And the whole point is you don't want to heat up the stainless because then it hardens and when it hardens, uh, it's even that much harder to drill through. So you can kind of see here. So we have our, we have our head, it's sunk down into the strip. We have it glued as well. Same down here. And what this is going to allow me to do is to put a sheet of plywood up against this wall here and have a nice tight seam between these two walls. We're gonna be doing the same up here. So you can kind of see, yeah, we have a gap, but there's gonna be a furring strip along here as well. And then there will be the plywood or the shiplap. So we'll probably lose about an inch to ceiling, but we're gonna gain half an inch of insulation. And we're gonna have, uh, again, a nice tight seam along this wall. You're not gonna see that gap. So uh, I'll probably fill up this gap with some expanding foam just so that it's nice and tight. But so that's what I'm working on today. I'll try and get you guys some progress uh, videos just so you can see what I'm doing um, rather than just listening to me talk because that's pretty boring. So we're using this room kind of as a guide as far as how many furring strips we need. I'm thinking we'll probably do four. That'll give us, um, you know, a little bit wider than a foot gap in between each furring strip. And that way we hit a nice tight wall, the plywood joint to the wall. So a lot of screws, all that. Then we'll, then we'll, we'll skin it all. We'll sand everything and we're going to paint everything in here white. So we're going to mask off everything, uh, paint sprayer and we'll do some primer first. Then we'll sand all of that skim all the skim all of these screw holes get everything perfectly smooth and we'll have nice tight walls and then we'll probably do kind of like a wainscoting effect with some trim on the walls and that'll be it so here we go we're back what do you think dude you love home depot yeah what do you like about home depot Huh? Why do you like Home Depot? Because I love it. Yeah. Oh, you, no, we don't. We don't like those. Those are orange. We like red. So we need a drill bit. So we'll just grab. Should we just grab all of them? All right, everybody. So we are back from Home Depot. Got some new drill bits uh, specifically made for hard metals and uh, stainless steel. So as you can see, I drilled some holes and put some 
stainless self tappers. Uh, make sure you use similar metals. Dissimilar metals will do weird corrosion things. Uh, you don't want that. Put in some furring strips so they're attached in three spots. Uh, the frame rail down there is a lot thicker, um, so it's got a really good bite. And then, like I mentioned before, we're putting in another sheet of insulation, so that should help in these areas. Uh, actually, the whole bus. This will be the whole bus. So uh, you can see here my big blob of glue, and uh, these guys are nice and sturdy. So going to finish putting in the insulation and then I got to figure out sheets of plywood, where to put the seam. I have a feeling that um, we're going to do like a typical like rail. I believe those are at 32 inches, but I need to take the sink into consideration and we should be able to hide that plywood seal, uh, that seam, because this is, I think it was... 59 inches and it's 72 inches so it's it's bigger than one sheet of plywood so we're gonna have a seam somewhere so i'm trying to figure out do i want a vertical seam or do i want a horizontal seam and this will kind of translate along the whole bus so also what can i get out of a sheet of plywood that's not going to make a bunch of waste right like we got a lot of sheets here so planning in this step can help alleviate a lot of waste a lot of cost uh right now Wood is at like a almost a three to four hundred percent markup from uh, previous years. It's so it's it's pretty expensive. You know we have about I think we have twenty sheets of plywood over there. We'll probably need to double that. I'm guessing. Um, so it's a pretty substantial cost. So if we can figure it out now, uh, we'll save later. The little vent down there that I need to close up. We have that wiring harness that I need to move. Uh, that's like a ambient air temp sensor as well as a output air sensor, I believe. I know when I turn the bus on, the AC system has an error about ambient sensors. So those are unplugged right now. So we'll need to relocate those. The AC system works properly. So just chugging away. We'll do these two pieces of insulation, I'll cut some plywood, and uh, we'll go from there. Here we are outside, we're getting ready to cut the first piece. So we kind of measured the uh, vanity and found about 38 would be a good spot to have the seam for this that we can cover up with the trim. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I've already ripped this down to 38, so I took 10 inches off of it and we're gonna cut this to 59. And so we'll have our first piece for the bottom wall of our bathroom. Here we are, Go, went ahead and made that cut. As you can see, we fit pretty nice. Um, so what I'm going ahead and do is I'm going to drill and screw in our first wall and it's pretty exciting for me. So again, we're going to get to get gluing and screwing. All right, here we go. First wall is up onto the next one. Let's put two kids.
So it looks like a wall? We have another wall. You know what this means? What? Gluing and screwing. <laughs> That's pretty much the theme of our bus. <laughs> They make uh, powered ones of these. Really? The caulking guns, yeah. With how much I've done, it would be nice. <laughs> yeah, because you said it's a lot harder to see these than you, uh, yeah, you make it look. 24 tubes, too. You, you bought 24 tubes? 24 more tubes. Wow. Of glue. Yeah. We're just going to hold everything together with glue. <laughs> uh, you want to help me hold this up? Would you like to help me glue and screw? Okay. So we got that second panel up. So we have walls. Now, this edge, this, and this are all going to have trim applied to them. So we just need to make sure that we uh, fill in these holes. We're gonna, again, we're gonna sand everything smooth, fill everything in with filler, sand it, primer it, paint it, and we'll have solid white walls in here. We're gonna have to do some trim work on here, trim work on the doors, and caps for the pocket doors. We're gonna do uh, the strips across the top here. That'll probably be my next uh, task. And at that point, we're looking good. On to the next thing. All right, so now that we have the bathroom wall up, we're gonna move on to the bunk room. So I've gone ahead and already cut my five furring strips. We're gonna go ahead and start drilling holes to secure them into the frame and glue them, and then we'll start working on some walls. Here we go. Bunk wall coming in. We still have to do the palm. Oh. I'm just trying to get cuts out of the way. Does that fit? Ooh. That doesn't fit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.